is day two of my wash and go. Um, the first day I have in the previous, you know, on the previous video, I'm not really talking on it, but this is day two. I fluffed it a little bit because I want this wash and go to last. I'm going to show you guys every single day this week and how we got to more volume, how we restyled out here, but I'm really loving this combination. So this is day three here. I'm gonna show you guys how I get, you see it looks like cone head right now. I'm gonna spray a little bit of this Riogio leave-in. Shake it out. The floral curls, super fruit. And this is where the part is. I'm just gonna start to scrunch it because um, the cast is gone. This is day three. I've been putting oil on it every day. The ends and start to separate it. Just to give it more volume and dimension. You see? So we could play with it a little. It's good to coat your hands so you're not giving yourself any frizz. Just pull at the ends a little bit, gently pull, and then start to stretch the roots with the pick. Day four hair, as you can see, it's a little intact. It doesn't have the cone head shape because I took off my little thing first. And um, look, it's a fro right now. Y'all see, I changed my camera, right? Not into the camera, my bad, I'm lying. I changed the lens. Y'all see that? You see that background? See that? Dirty. So don't get don't get scared. It's still me, you know? Don't get scared. <laughs> but now, today, we're gonna do a fro. Since we got more volume on day four, we're gonna do a fro with bangs. Because that's how my hair wanted to fall, so I'm gonna let it fall that way. And it's a look. Look! It's a whole look now. And I didn't have to pick it or nothing. You see, as the days go by, your hair will get bigger and bigger and beautiful and fuller. And we still got definition, we got shape, we got volume. It's a look. So this is day four, guys. Okay, we're back with day five hair. Um, we still had an afro. I put my hair in a bonnet, shook it out. But we are still with this afro. Um, I lost some definition right here and back here and right here, but that's okay, because today I can still either wear my hair out or I can decide to put it up a little bit. So we're gonna put it up a little bit because I'm tired of wearing it down, and I'm gonna start right here and go down like this, put my hair up like that. We're gonna do, we're gonna do like a pineapple with some of my hair up with no headband, and it looks it's a whole look, you see? We got bang, we got faux bangs. And then we just bring this up some. You see? Oh, look, we got a whole look. We got bangs. We got bangs. Even though I am going somewhere, but not really somewhere. Going to the store. And I use this oil to help with moisture, lock in moisture from the leave-in. So. And you see, as you can see, the definition is still good. We got a little bit of frizz, but it's not nothing that's unbearable. I want some faux bangs. Ugh. Ooh, I got a big head, y'all. Y'all. That was a workout. All right, so as you can see, this is like a leather headband I got from Miss A. So this part I'm going to use. You like? <laughs> Cute. 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 Hey guys, I am back. It's the seven day hair, and look, we still have some definition, but we got a lot of frizz. So today, um, I'm gonna just put my hair up in a um, curly bun. So restyling, you wanna make sure your hair is a little wet, because when you restyle on dry hair, the, you lose more hair. This eco style olive oil gel. 
with the stuff that I'm that I initially used. I won't usually change it out. Get your brush and begin brushing your hair in an upward motion. If you don't know how to get your hair up, I have not yet perfected getting all this hair up in a ponytail. So I'm going to show you what I do. Okay, so we're gonna try this again because I basically broke it. Dang! And tie it because it's just easier that way. Tie it tight. Not too tight because it's a headache. So this is the end of my wash and go, my week wash and go. I ended it with a bun, uh, a pointy bun. And the next day, I, you can even stretch it even longer than this if you want to. This is day seven, but you can stretch it for eight, nine, 10 days if you wanna keep it in a bun for the next three days. So that's how I do my wash and go. Sometimes I switch up the styles, but that's how I basically do my wash and goes. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure you press that like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Have a good one.